What's going on you guys? Kenny here, also known as SilentFan85. Welcome to a quick how-to. Very quick, by the way. It doesn't take long to explain this at all. Um, this is how to set up your PS4 remote play. A lot of people have, have asked me, how do I stream PS4 games with the overlay? So on and so forth. Well, it's a combination of this software and OBS, which we'll get to the whole OBS thing and streaming at some other point in another video. But this is just a quick how to show you up for uh, show you to set up your PS4 remote play on your Windows PC or Mac. Uh, the link will be down below. But it essentially goes through the PlayStation website. All you're going to do is just go through, set this up. They have interval updates. It really connects with the uh, PS4. They've done a really good job of keeping it up to date. It does allow you to play through your PC. Um, now, I, I haven't tested if you can actually use this over the internet yet. But I do know that you do need to be connected to the same Wi-Fi network uh, as your PS4. Uh, at least to get the best out of the stream. Again, it may work on the internet. I'm not entirely sure yet. I haven't tested it. I uh, haven't really had a chance to because I'm always at home or at work. But, um, yeah, so this is the website. Let's go ahead and get to the setup basics of when you get it downloaded. Okay, so when you get it downloaded, this is essentially what you're going to see. It says to use this PC to enjoy your PS4 while you are away from it. Use the options button on the controller to start. Now, one note, it does require you to have a PS4 controller. So if you're going to use this, if you're going to try to test it over the Internet, which, again, I can neither confirm nor deny that it, it works uh, because I haven't tested it yet. I say that three times because I know there'll be comments on it. Hey, does this work over the internet? I have no idea. Um, so with that, again, you are going to need a PS4 controller as well as a USB port. I would recommend um, if you have a, if you're going to be using a laptop, uh, it's probably best to have at least a USB 2.0 slot for this. 3.0 would probably be better. But anyway, uh, you do have settings you can use. Uh, you're going to need to sign into the PlayStation Network. You've got your resolutions, which is 720, 360, high, 1080, 725, 40, 360. Uh, obviously, the higher the resolution, the more, uh, the better internet you're going to need, uh, or the better connection. It even tells you right here, um, standard 540 or 360 if video or audio skip, which you'll see it. It'll kind of pixelate from time to time. It even does warn you. There's a little icon that shows you what's happening uh, whenever you're about to disconnect. It's like a flashing controller. Uh, you do have your frame rate, standard and high. I'm operating on high because, I'm, again, I'm directly connected to my modem, and so is my PS4 uh, via network cable. Um, you can also set the smoothness of the video for the remote play, which, again, is where the frame rate comes in. High to if you have a fast connection to the PS4, which, again, is directly connected to the same modem. Uh, that's your best bet. If you select high, the gameplay recording feature of the PS4 will be paused while using a remote play. I'm not sure of the reason for this. I think it's because the PS4 needs to concentrate most of its um, uh, streaming power, I guess, to the PC. So You can also use a keyboard on your PC for any text entry, which is actually really handy. Um, you can change what PS4 to connect to if you've got more than one. This is just some uh, notes about it. You can also check out the user agreement. But essentially, this is what happens when you start it up. You hit start, connected to the PS4, turning on the PS4. Now, it will only turn on the PS4 if your PS4 is in rest mode. It will not turn it off if the power is off. So if you plan on using it, keep it in rest mode. Rest mode is actually really good, you guys. And it, it's not one of those things where it's just like you can't leave your PS4 all on all the time. You can actually leave your PS4 in rest mode for a good long while. Uh, I've done it for at least a couple of weeks and I have no problems. Okay, when the connection to the PS4 is about to be lost, the icon will be displayed. Again, it's just like a connected feature. But anyway, this is what it looks like when it first starts up. You, of course, can hit the full screen, which is it's kind of cut off right now because I'm not in full screen. But that's essentially how it works. So anyway, I hope this was helpful to you guys. Again, I'll have a video up fairly soon about streaming, to, uh, streaming using the PS4 remote play as well as OBS. This is just a quick thing this morning. I got to get ready for work, but I've been wanting to do this for a while, so I figured I'd throw it up. Hope you guys have a great day. Remember to like, subscribe, and comment. And be sure to watch my mouse. You're getting very dizzy. Very dizzy. You will subscribe. You will like, or you will dislike, because there have been a lot of dislikes flying around my channel for some reason. I have no idea why. Anyway, remember, you're awesome. I'll let the world tell you otherwise. See ya.